Oof. Oh boy. There we go. I would say that's uh, how my motor went. Damn. It's in. Let's give her a test. tighter than that one was. Yep. Same setup, just gonna pull these bolts and pull the seat. With the seat out, it actually feels like it can sit properly in the car. Basically, what I'm gonna attempt to do is I need a place to mount a bracket of some sort to get this switch for the clutch switch, which looks like this, installed. And basically all it does is it breaks, you can see the connection right there, it breaks it when the button is pushed. Um, the way it functions right now in the settings is the circuit's closed now, it's open, so just like you know, a normal switch. But the way I plan on having it, it's gonna be where it's constantly open and then closing when the clutch is pressed in. <clears throat> Luckily in the settings, there's an actual little tick box for reverse. The issue is, is actually room. Like there is, I mean, this is, I mean, my whole hand eats up this entire pedal box area. So, <clears throat> so we can upside it, that one's got my, uh, Sinus is doing crazy shit. Ideally, you would do something similar to the brake switch here, where it basically mounts to the side of the whole pedal box bracket and then has this little portion that actually attaches to the pedal back here to depress this switch. It's kind of what I'd love to do, but the problem is, is I can't get in there. I can't get to the side of that to mount a bracket without pulling out this whole assembly. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is going to be dumb, but I'm going to mount that bracket that I had right here on the side. Let's see if I can get this again. I'm going to mount it kind of like right here. That way the switch kind of depresses on this motor gearbox for the uh, pedal adjustment. <clears throat> it's not anything that's going to really, it's not going to hurt it. And having it mounted up there is not really going to do anything because the pedals will still adjust because they adjust back here so this part is fixed and the pedals adjust so it shouldn't interfere if anything there um i'm not fond of this idea but i really can't think of a better way to do this <laughs> See, as I press on the clutch, it disengages the switch. All right, so got the clutch switch bracket installed. Um, it's not the prettiest thing, but it, it works, it functions. As you see in the video, it went in, uh, went in software and inverted the switch so that it works when it is uh, an open position instead of closed. Uh, 
did test it, so it functions like it's supposed to, so that's all done. Uh, that's basically it for the watt box outside of the tuning. Now, if I just do like a quick little burst doing the two step, it's fine. If I do an extended burst or I do repeated two steps, the uh, computer, I'm trying to think of the name of the, uh, the, the check engine. Uh, it does a scan, a diagnostic, basically, on the uh, ignition coils. And it's seeing that they're being cut, and it's uh, putting the car into a limp mode. Uh, so it'll start running real rough. Um, most of the time, shut the car off, turn it back on, we'll fix it. It resets it. But I have had one time where I had to let it idle for a good, I don't know, minute or two before it cleared itself out. Basically what it is, is uh, after so many uh, detections of it not firing, so many misfires in a certain time frame that it basically puts it into a limp mode. Um, so I think what I need to do, really the quick way is to just turn off that set, which I think is like the P0300 codes, which is all the misfire stuff. I'm not positive that. I can't think off the top of my head right now. But I've also seen that the, the better way to do it is to basically ex increase the amount of misfires that are allowed or the duration that it scans in. Or if there's this many over a certain amount of time, it's still okay. So like, you know, if it's over like a, a 10 second, you know, 20 second period, which is what you'd have for launch, it's it's fine. But if it's more than like that time frame is over 30 seconds to 40 seconds, something like that, it's misfiring too much and it wants to back off and protect itself. Uh, so basically I gotta get other, a programmer myself and do it. That I means software and the, the scanner or the, the tool, so the SCT uh, scanner, or I think it can be done through HB Tuners. Um, so I have to buy their software and their stuff. And I think the Gen 3 Vipers are actually the cheapest Vipers you can do with HB Tuners. Um, I think it can be done that way. Otherwise, I basically got to get the tool and find somebody to do the programming, the tuning for me to make it make it right. Um, that's basically it for right now. So it should be fine for. The uh, no lift shifting, which is part of what I want it for. Um, but I also wanted it for the two step for the launch control. So, like, a quick launch, I'm fine. But if I'm like playing around, like I'm doing, trying to shoot flames and shit like that, it's it's not, not gonna be any good for that. Um, so, that's basically it for the wall box. Wall box is good to go outside of tune. Your shoes all over my seat? Um, no. No. <laughs> Daddy! 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 Hi. Hi. It's, we're coming up on May. It's fixing to be May. And there, there's a couple of autocross events I'm wanting to try to make it to. Still not positive I'm going to. I gotta still finish the stuff in the splitter, which is what's next today. I'm working on um, the, the damage that I did when I was at autocross last time and then when I did my pull after autocross, I, I did a lot of damage to the splitter, so I gotta do a lot of repairs to get it going. Um, but basically, the moral of the story is, is the end of August, early September, so around Labor Day weekend, we have a trip planned up to the mountains. And I wanna take the Viper. Kinda gonna hurt my feelings if I'm gonna have the Viper another year and not actually be able to take it up to the mountains. Uh, so the plan is this year we're, we're going um, so the wide body you know end of August that's that's what four months September is four months so three months I got three months so there's no way I'm getting the wide body done enough that the car is presentable and probably even safe to drive at high speed up to the mountains in a three month time period it's just not, not going to happen so I'm postponing the white body part. I, I dicked around too long between working on other things and just not having time. I, I didn't get it moving along fast enough to do anything with it. So after the trip at the uh, around Labor Day, when the car comes back, that's when I will jump on the actual full-fledged white body. I will be jumping right into it. I will get the 
plugs being made, the car basically parked until the fire blast is done. And then from there, it's deciding on paint and wrap. I'm probably initially gonna just wrap it. Um, it just it just depends. Daddy, I got you money. You got money, huh? Yeah. You gonna put it back? Uh -huh. Little thief. So, I know of as much as I'm going to be doing, I'm not doing the front bumper stuff, because I, I think I'm pretty set on the idea of doing a crazy arrow to, to fill the void. Um, but I'll probably start on the back first, just because I'm already, I'm pretty set on what I'm doing at the rear. You shut the car? What is that? What kind of car is that? It's a cop what? Cop car. What kind of car though? It's flying. It's flying. What kind of car is that though? Flying. <laughs> yeah, hey. Well, what kind of car is it? What, what kind of car is that? I know it's a cop car, but what kind of car? What's it look like? Open it up. You can't open that side. But you can open the doors. What is that though? What kind of car? It's the same kind of car as Daddy's. Can you say Viper? Viper. Say it again. Viper. Uh oh. What was I saying? Oh, so the amount. So I'm going to jump on the rear because I know what I want to do on that. I have pretty much that set in stone. I know exactly what I'm doing. So I'll jump on the rear first, and then the amount of new fiberglass is going to require a substantial amount of paint. Um, I have toyed with the idea of making this car orange. I've always, I wanted a VBO Viper. So that's, a, that's the orange, of course. So I kind of have a thing for orange. Chew my addition right in the head. I settled with blue because it is still, it's a nice color. It's a really nice color. But the blue on this car is not perfect. The paint is not pristine in this car. This car is in desperate need of paint correction. There's a lot of chips and cracks that need to be taken care of. It's a, it's a driver's car that wasn't very well taken care of, um, which is part of why I bought it. Is it was a good deal, but it was also a car that I wasn't terrified to take on the road because I was worried any little bit of road debris was going to destroy it. You know, I didn't buy this car because it was a museum piece. So I'm torn between. Wrapping the car, um, I'm, I'm doing the, the black on the hood, the black on the roof, the black on the trunk. I'm doing the, the ACR look of that, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna work on repainting it or wrapping in some other kind of blue where the color's been changed. It's like if I do a blue, I'm not too worried about the, the door sills and everything being also a, done in a, the same exact wrap just the outside because there's some parts on this car man. like there's some parts that would be a little bit of a pain to wrap without doing several inlays we'll be doing I, I'm pro I'll probably paint it just because I want to keep it consistent just try to do a paint match on it or find somebody that's gonna do a do a good work for a good price because there's going to be a decent amount of paint on the, the quarters and the fenders. So that's that's what's happening with that. Um, I'm going to probably take the car to a car, a couple car meets coming up in May. Uh, one in particular I know of that I'm interested in. So basically I'm just going to kind of enjoy the car for the summer and then Right before fall kicks in, we'll be jumping on the actual full on wide body. So, wide body series on pause, essentially. Outside of little things that I'm going to continue to do to the car, that be the overall thing. So, I got to get the car up, lifted up, anyways, for uh, fixing the splitter. So, I may or may not pull the wheel spacers. I kind of like the poke look, mostly just because it gives a wider, kind of more aggressive presence. 
but I don't think I want to go up to the mountains like that. Nothing wrong with doing that. I mean, I've raced around the area with it like that, so we'll see. I'm lazy, so I'll probably end up keeping it. All right, guys. Uh, the whole usual YouTube spiel. Like, subscribe, share, whatever. Hit the notification bell. I would like to try to do more well with YouTube. Instagram has been doing pretty well for me. Um, so thank you to all my followers on Instagram. Uh, you guys are awesome. Um, yeah. That's it.